Hey guys, my name is Abby Kay. I'm a rock recording artist based here in Nashville, Tennessee. I've been releasing music as an independent artist for almost four years now. And over the next couple of weeks, we're going to be going back in history and reviewing some of my old music. Starting with today, I found the very first recording that I ever did in a studio of my very first song, It Should Have Been Me. I'm going to go back and listen to that for the first time in four years and see what I think about it. Okay, so this was pre-production. I did this when I was 15, almost 16. I really had no idea what I was doing. It's the first song I ever wrote. I am very nervous and kind of already embarrassed from this, but we're going to do it in three, two, one, go. I had that same bass line straight from the start. The guitar octaves aren't there yet. Okay, we're pausing. Oh my gosh. What is that? Way back when. Oh, wow. That's, that's awesome. Why did nobody tell me that that sounded so stupid? Luckily, that did not end up on the record. I don't remember ever doing that. We just started the first verse, and I'm already embarrassed. Okay, we're going to keep going. I don't like how I pronounced giving. Oh, I'm so pitchy. This is before I had any voice lessons. I had no experience. I did the same thing there. Now, bell. Why did no one stop me? Made. <laughs> Okay, this is this is pretty close to what ended up on the record. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. The original when I wrote it should have been me. Um, you know, the record ended up as it should have been me. It should have been me. Very like powerful, straightforward gang vocals. But the original when I wrote it, I wrote this song on acoustic guitar. And it was like, it should have been me, and you know it, it should have been me, and I'll show it, it should have been me. Very, like, sultry vocals. Ew, I don't like that. Now that I've heard the record for four years, at first, like, when we were changing that, it was very weird for me. I was like, it should have been, me. like, it didn't sound right, but now going back to that, I am so glad we changed that. Oh, there's, there's the guitar octaves a little bit. In the record, we cut that to half of the time. Ah, we're back to that. Oh, I'm nervous for this. Here we go. But it still stings. Pre-chorus is okay. I don't know why I delayed that. I hate the chorus. Okay, so what I don't like is the drums on the record, the snare is on the offbeat of two, it's one, two, and... And this one is just straight four with the drums. And it's like really messing with my mind. <laughs> okay, somebody needed to put this 15-year-old girl in vocal lessons. Like, even the pronunciation, like, when I'm trying to go, it should have been me and. 
I like mix them together with a W. I'm like, wand. It should have been me. Wand. Doesn't make sense. I don't know why I pronounced it like that, but I've done it every single time. Bridge. Ah, pause. I'm missing that, the doo-doo guitar bend there. That's like a very iconic part for me. Um, I always listen for that now. That obviously wasn't a part of the original, but I'm so glad we put that in there. Oh, those words are different. So in the bridge, going from the bridge to the guitar solo, it's just you wait and see. But here I did just wait and you shall see. <laughs> so wordy. I don't remember why we fixed that, but I'm glad we did. I mean, I was 16. I was just trying to say what was on my mind. I didn't think about, you know, cutting out words, making it flow better, making it more catchy, but I'm glad someone caught that. Guitar solo. This is Logan Foland on guitar. One of the best guitarists. Should go double time. No. Oh, that's missing that. I mean, I know this is just like the foundation of it, but no, I love when, um, if we do a double course at the end, having the second one be double time or half time or changing it up a little bit, like that's just boring to listen to. If, if it's just the same thing over and over again, there's no like energy building. Oh, there's a harmony in there. I don't like how that ended. It just like, just ended. <laughs> All right, that, that was the first time I ever recorded in a studio. Um, I'm gonna go through all of my old emails and files and see if I can find any other old recordings to react to. Um, but that was, it should have been me, my first time in a studio, first pre-production, first song. I was 15 years old and hopefully you guys like what's come from that and how much I've grown into what I am now. If you're new, you can follow me on this journey on all social media at Abby K Rocks, abbykrocks.com. I also have a clothing line, girlsrocknashville.com, if you're interested in some cool merchandise. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a rockin' day.